Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, i-discuss ko sa inyo ano bang ibig sabihin ng isang functions and relations. Okay? So, define muna natin yung relation. A relation is any set of ordered pairs. The set of all the x components of the ordered pairs is called the domain of the relation. And the set of all the y components is called the range. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, a relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain Okay? To a second set of values called the range. So, pwede rin nating i-imagine na si domain is yung ating input sa isang machine while si range is yung ating output. Okay? So, let's give the domain and range of the following relation. For number 1, we have 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 6, comma 8. So, sabi natin kanina, domain is the x components of the ordered pairs. Ibig sabihin, yun yung mga numbers na nasa unahan. Ito yung ating mga inputs. Okay? So, ano-ano yun? We have 1, 2, 5, and 6. Nakuha? While yung range naman is the set of all y components. So, yun yung ating mga output. So, kung nag-input tayo ng 1, ang first output natin is 3. Okay? Then, sa 2 naman, ang output niya is 4. Then, sa 5, we have 7. Then, sa 6, meron tayong 8. Nakuha, guys? So, ang range natin ay 3, 4, 7, and 8. So, next, number 2. So, bigay natin yung domain and range. Again, Yung ating domain is the set of all x components. So, yun yung mga unang numbers. We have negative 2, negative 1. Then, meron tayong negative 2. So, since may negative 2 na tayo sa ating set, hindi na natin kailangang isulat ulit yung negative 2. Okay? Followed by 1. Then, last is yung ating positive 2. Then, for the range naman, that is our uh, y components. So, we have 4, 1, 0, then 5, and last is yung negative 2. Okay? So, pwede rin natin i-arrange, guys, yung mga numbers sa ating set from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Depende, guys, kung saan kayo mas, uh, kung ano yung mas gusto nyo. Okay? So, move tayo. A relation in which each member of the domain is paired to exactly one member of the range is called a function. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nun? Ang relation daw ay isang function if no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. Okay? So, ibig sabihin kung ano yung input natin, dapat isa lang yung output niya. Nakuha? Pagka ang output niya is magkaiba, so ibig sabihin, yung relation natin is hindi function. Okay? So, try natin. Number 1, we have 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5. So, as you can see guys, um, lahat ng input natin is merong mga unique output. ba So, wala rin naman tayong ordered pair na merong same uh, same domain, tapos iba yung kanyang range. Ibig sabihin, yung number 1 natin is a function. Okay? Next, number 2. We have 1, comma 1, then 2, comma 2, 3, comma 3, and 4, comma 4. So, as you can see, guys, na yung mga domain natin is merong mga unique output. ba Or isa lang yung kanilang output. So, ibig sabihin, yung number 2 natin is also a function. Okay? Next, number 3. Meron tayong 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. Okay? 
So, dito guys, uh, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong um, domain na magkapareho, which is 0 and 0. Tama? Then, as you notice, yung kanyang output is magkaiba. Di ba? Yung una, ang output natin is 1. Dun sa pangalawa, ang output niya is negative 1. And by definition, sabi dito, magiging function lang siya, okay? Magiging function lang ang isang relation kapag uh, yung domain is paired to exactly one member of the range. So, this time, uh, yung, yung domain natin na 0 is merong ano, uh, na pare sa dalawang member ng range. Okay? Which is 1 and negative 1. So, therefore, uh, number 3 is not a function. Okay? So, next, number 4, we have negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, then 2, 4. Okay? So, kung papansin ninyo, uh, yung mga domain natin, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, is may mga unique outputs. Diba? Then, since wala naman na ulit sa ating domain, Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung number 4 natin is a function. Nakuha, guys? Okay, next. Uh, functions can also be represented through mapping. Okay? So, where the elements of the domain are mapped to the elements of the range using arrows. Okay? So, in this case, uh, the relation or function is represented by the set of all the connections by the arrows. Okay, so try natin. Uh, which of the following mapping uh, diagrams represent function? So, dun tayo sa una. Ito yung number one natin. So, kung mapansin nyo guys, yung ating x component, ito yung ating mga domain. Okay. Then, yung y components natin, ito yung ating mga range. Okay? So, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating mga domain is corresponds to a unique range. Tama? Yung 1 corresponds to 3, 2 corresponds to 5, 3 corresponds to 9, then 4 to 7, then 5 to 33. So, lahat ng input natin is may mga unique output. So, therefore, yung number 1 natin is a function. Okay? So, function yan. So, next, number 2. Uh, we have x natin, yung ating mga domain, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then, yung ating y naman is 0 and 1, yung ating range. So, dito guys, uh, kung makapansin nyo, yung ating mga input na 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is meron din kanya-kanyang output. Okay? So, Wala naman tayong input, tapos dalawa yung kanyang output, di ba? Wala naman tayong nakitang ganun. So, ibig sabihin, etong number 2 natin is also a function. Tama? Yung 5, ang output niya 1. Yung 6, ang output niya 0. Yung 7, output niya 1. Yung 8, ang output niya 0. Then, yung 9, ang output niya 0. Okay? So, walang problema guys kahit pare-pareha sila ng output. Okay? So, next, sa number 3 naman, meron tayong um, domain na 7, 2, and 1. Then, meron tayong range na 11, 13, 17, 19, and 23. So, dito guys, uh, kung makapansin nyo, yung input natin na 7 is nakarelate sa dalawang output. Merong 11 and 13. Okay? Then, at the same time, Yung input natin na 2 is meron din dalawang output. Tama? Ang first output niya is 17, then ang second output niya is 19. Okay? So, kagaya ng sinabi natin kanina, uh, magiging um, function lang ang isang relation kapag ka yung ating mga domain is merong mga unique output. Okay? So, this time... Uh, yung input natin na 7 may dalawang output. So, ibig sabihin, uh, this function or this relation is not a function. Okay? 
Naiintindihan ba guys yung ating uh, mapping diagrams? Okay, so ngayon move tayo sa functions as a graph in the Cartesian plane. Okay, so given the graph of a relation, we can easily identify if it is a function or not by using the vertical line test. Okay, so ano ba yung vertical line test? A graph of a mathematical relation is said to be a function if any vertical line drawn passing through the graph touches the graph at exactly one point. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, magiging function daw ang isang graph if pagka nag-draw tayo ng vertical line, dapat isang base lang natin matatouch yung ating graph. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung nakadalawa or tatlong beses natin natouch yung graph using the vertical line, ibig sabihin, hindi siya function. Okay? So, try natin yung ating mga example. So, which of the graphs uh, represent a function? So, letter A. So, dito guys, uh, to test the graph, again, gagamit tayo ng vertical line. Okay? So, kung magdodraw tayo ng vertical line sa any part ng ating graph, Try natin. So, kung makapansin nyo guys, kahit sa ang uh, parte ng graph tayo mag-draw ng vertical line, makapansin nyo, isang beses lang natin na-touch yung mga graph or yung ating graph. Tama? So, kung isang beses lang natin na-touch yung ating graph, ibig sabihin, uh, this graph re represent a function. Okay? So, next, number 2, or letter B. So, dito meron tayong straight line. So, makapansin nyo naman kagad, kahit sa ang parte tayo mag-draw ng vertical line, isang beses lang natin matatouch yung ating graph. So, ibig sabihin, uh, this line represent a function. Tama? So, next, meron tayo ditong ellipse. So, dito sa ellipse, guys, uh, pag nag-draw tayo ng ating vertical line, mapapansin nyo na dalawang beses natin na-touch yung ating graph. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, this ellipse is not a function or this graph is not a function. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. So, next, meron tayong parabola. So, pag nag-draw tayo ng vertical line dito sa ating parabola, okay? So, kahit sa ang parte ng parabola tayo mag-draw ng vertical line, isang beses lang natin natatouch yung ating graph. So, that means, uh, this graph represents a function. Nakukuha, guys? So, naiintindihan ba natin kung paano ginagamit yung vertical line test? So, last one, letter D, meron tayong hyperbola. So, dito guys, um, pagka nag-sketch tayo dito ng vertical line, so, ma manonotice nyo kagad na dalawang beses natin na-touch yung ating hyperbola. So, that means, uh, this type of hyperbola is not a function. Ayan. So, ganyan lang kasimple, guys, gamitin yung ating vertical line test. Nakuha ba? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo, guys, kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng relation and function. And if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you, guys, for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!